Good morning, my Rainbow Door friends. It's me, Miss Erica here. And today we are talking about the letter H for hermit crab in our class. And so I wanted to show you a really fun little craft that you can do to make your her own hermit crabs at home. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need your paper plate. You're gonna need some scissors. You're gonna need a piece of paper. You're gonna need markers and you're gonna need some glue or some tape. So go ahead and pause the video, and if you don't have those things together, you can go and ask your parents and they can help you. So you need paper plate, paper, scissors, markers, glue. Go! Good job, guys, welcome back. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start and this is gonna be the shell of our crab. So you can think about what a shell looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick a color. You can pick any color that you want. And you're gonna start, take your marker and put it right in the middle of your plate, okay? Then you're gonna just make some swirlies all the way to the outside of your plate. See how I did that? I just started in the middle and I just did some swirls, making it bigger and bigger and bigger. It's really fun. And if you can do this however you want. It doesn't have to look like mine. Your shell can look different. This is just how I decided to make my shell today. Then you can decorate your shell. You might wanna get a different color and maybe your shell has some circles on it. I think my shell's gonna have some pink circles. Maybe your shell has some, whoops, orange squigglies. Good job. All right, now I want you to pause the video again and I want you to continue decorating your shell. And when you're finished decorating your shell, come back and we can go on to the next step. All right, guys, good job. I'm excited to see what your shells look like. Show them to me. Wow, great job, guys. Those are beautiful shells. I love them so much. So now we have our shell. What are we missing? We need our crab, don't we? I have a really fun way to make a hermit crab. Okay, so you're gonna need your piece of paper now, and you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna put it on your piece of paper, just like this. It's important, once you put your hand down on your paper, you don't lift it up. You just put it down and you don't move your fingers around, okay? You put it down and you leave it right where it is. Then you pick your color, whatever color you wanna do, and you're gonna trace your hand, okay? So are we gonna move our hand? No. Tracing our hands. Great job. So now I have my hermit crab complete. This is my hand. So I think next I'm gonna go ahead and color it before I cut it out. So you can color it whatever color you want. Um, I do, I'm gonna make my crab's face be right here. And then I'm gonna draw some like little pinchers because crabs have pinchers, right? So I'm gonna draw my crab face right here. Here's his eye, here's his mouth, you know, little crab face. And then I'm gonna draw his pinchers off this first finger. I'm gonna only give him one pincher. And so the pinchers might be kind of tricky, but you can do it. So they kind of look like that. See that pincher? And you can open and close them, open and close them. Pretty cool, huh? So now you can go ahead and you can decorate your crab however you want. Some people might want to color their crab all one color. Some people might want to give their crab lots of different colors. You can do it however you want. 
I think I'm just gonna give my crab some like whoop 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 whoop. There you go. All right, guys. So go ahead and pause your video, and then come on back when you're all finished coloring your crab. All right, welcome back guys. So now I'm gonna cut my crab out. And you know, my preschool, my two-year-old friends probably are gonna need some help with this part. So you can go ask your mom and dad to help you cut out your crab. If you're in one of the pre-K classes, you probably can do this on your own. Just gonna continue to cut out your crab. Okay, friends, go ahead and pause the video again and keep cutting out your crabs and then meet them back here when you're done. friends so now we have our crab all cut out and we have our shell what should we do where do hermit crabs live they live in their shells right they live in many different shells throughout their lives but this is the shell that they're going to live in right now so what we're going to do is we're going to glue our hermit crabs to our shells or tape them if you have tape tape's great too And there we go. We have our completed hermit crab. Isn't that cute? I think, oh, <laughs> obviously I need to let my glue dry. But I think I'm gonna name my hermit crab, Hermie. Hermie the hermit crab. All right, friends, I hope you do this and I would love to see your completed projects. We'll talk to you soon. Love you.